Real Steel from the outside has the appearance of a science fiction film about boxing robots, and while that's technically true, it's more so concerned with being a touching story focusing on the connection between father and son. The boxing robots are an integral part, but not necessarily the central aspect of the story. The film is perhaps one of the best examples of the way a screenplay can take time to develop character without having to put the plot and action on hold. Each scene informs us of something new about a character or progresses previously established themes and ideas. While the numerous robot fights are excitingly realised, with wonderful special effects, the fact that the film has taken its time to establish characters and stakes ensures that each fight means something and has a certain emotional resonance. The character of Charlie, played by Hugh Jackman, is wonderfully flawed but in an understandable and realistic way. Add to that Dakota Goyo as Max, who may be one of the most convincing child actors in modern cinema, an inspiring score by Danny Elfman, and what I can only describe as the perfect ending, Real Steel is one of the most compelling and real films made for a family audience in recent memory. If it wasn't already clear enough, Real Steel comes with a very high recommendation from me. Also, if you haven't checked out last week's video, make sure you do so down below. I talk about one of my favourite film franchises ever, the Saw series, and whether Saw should make a return with Saw 8.